Ready? Yep. Do you know what we're doing? Nope. <laughs> I literally hold it in just for the shower. <laughs> That's funny, but I've, I peed. I've peed in the shower. All right, hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So I posted on our Instagram a while ago for you guys to- How long ago? I need to know how long ago. Uh, a week ago? A week ago. <laughs> for you guys to share with us your secret confessions. So these are things that our viewers are confessing to us. Mm -hmm. Some of them are funny, some of them are pretty thought provoking, and basically you're gonna React, respond, relate, maybe not relate. Got it. Okay. The first one is I moved a thousand miles away from all of my friends and family and I am the happiest I've ever been in my life. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that means you probably don't like your family or friends all that much. <laughs> uh, I, I could do that. I think I could. Well, not, not for my family and friends. Yeah. I think I could take candy and we could go we've talked about that before though that we would like if we moved away we'd be probably good for like a few months i wonder how i wonder months. how old this person is because if i was in my 20s yeah with no big attachments i think it'd be totally awesome yeah yeah like if you picture someone like andrew yeah like andrew just did andrew write that no yeah. <laughs> that's not a thousand miles away but yeah that's true if you're younger i think that definitely it all depends on where you're at in your life but like so, I said, if, if we I was it, old and by myself and my kids were all grown up and candy had passed or something, I would do it in a minute. Why don't I'm just to die first. I'm just saying if you had no family or friends. <laughs> all right. Next one. I've always had a crush on Carly. There were actually quite a few of, of those. People have had, people do I have crushes on Carly. I don't have a crush on Carly. <laughs> I feel like, um, I don't know. Like, I have even girl crushes on people that I follow on Instagram, like just moms and stuff. I think it's kind of normal. It's almost kind of like a celebrity thing. Like, if you have a crush on a celebrity, someone, do you follow people that you have crushes on on social media? Not really. Not at all. But I, I wonder, I wonder, I would like to know what people think of Carly versus the real Carly. Like, if you got to hang out with Carly for a week... Whoa, I wonder if your impression of what you think of Carly and what Carly actually is are the same thing. She's been kind of really showing her more True real colors. self on her in, on her uh, YouTube Angel channel. Bias. So I feel like Angel people bias. would know what hanging yeah, out with Carly would be like in real life. Okay, Me and my brother's best friend have been seeing one another and haven't told anyone. Ooh, that's a TV show. So That should be on Netflix. That'd be like... You and your brother's best friend have Me been seeing my brother. It. So if I had a brother, I was seeing his best friend. Oh, didn't we just watch a movie like this? <laughs> we did. And actually, I no, it was on a Friends episode. It was when um, Chandler and uh, oh Monica, Monica seeing were seeing each other. And they're Ross. all just a friend group. I know, but but still, it was oh, like no, the, I guess that makes it sense. It was the first time, and, to, yeah. and Russ Ross was uh, really upset. Uh, about the whole situation until Chandler says, but we love each other or yeah. something like that. And then all of a sudden it became this big group hug. So, but, but do um, you think that they where, should it depends, I guess depends where it's at in the relationship. If it's been a few dates or if it's serious, if it's serious, yeah. I think you tell the brother. You need to tell them before you get too deep into yep. it. And, and then, then they're going to really then be offended. Yep. Yeah. Speak um, the truth. All of my friends think I'm happy, but really I'm the most depressed I've ever been. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. That's sad. That is sad. So first of all, you gotta try to work your way out of that. But I, I, I think that's probably you're probably definitely not alone. I think a lot of people wear themselves on the outside quite differently than they what they are on the inside. I mean, we all suppress our feelings and you know just kind of make life t task oriented and just keep suppressing and suppressing and suppressing until. Finally, there's a breakdown, right? Yeah, so. but I feel like you need to find at least one person that you can confide in. Right. Like when I go through struggles, I even though Ken and I have each other, I always have to have at least one friend that I like spill everything to, cry everything have you ever, to. Have you ever like, talked about your anxiety or not really? Not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's coming. <laughs> That's coming. So Candy has anxiety and uh, I think... Uh, 
from the stand. And I'll, this will be a whole, probably a whole nother video that I won't be part I of. But it's coming. But, uh, you know, she's been talking to a lot of friends recently about yeah. uh, her anxiety, which maybe, st I don't know. I don't know much yeah, about depression not. and anxiety, but, but it's, it's, uh, yeah. It's coming part two. Be ready. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's prevalent and it's apparent. So one time, my grandma got into the special cookies, and I just told her that she was sick. <laughs> <laughs> the special cookies. Oh, that's a. So should you confess? Probably not. <laughs> if it's over, done with. Oh boy, the special no, cookies. Definitely. They, they had to be pretty funny, though. Yeah. Uh, I have I have some stories that not aren't related to me, but. Uh, Someone I know actually uh, gave, gave his uh, father-in-law a gummy, and it it, uh, it was quite a story. What did they tell him it was? Just like oh, he knew, he knew, he uh, knew. Um, but uh, with with uh, the gummies is kind of a slow release reactive, and it's like forty minutes late. He's got I don't feel nothing, and then all of a sudden it was like a disaster. So nice, but. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a, someone I know. <laughs> I like my dog more than my brother most days. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's a good. Confession. I think that's. We I like we like our, I can relate too. We yeah. we like our dogs. One right here, one right here, one right yeah. here. <laughs> and the other two are outside. So. Yeah, I think people or I think dogs or are, are kinder than most people <laughs> most days. Although you're. Uh, your cousin just had a comment. He was having a oh yeah he was, he, he was having it he was having a bad day, mm -hmm. and someone had a bumper sticker on their car stickers you know with animals and his his comment on Facebook was uh, that that your pets are not your your don't children call, don't call yourself a mom and dad if you just have pets right which I can tell you right now there would be a ton of people that I know that would argue with that and oh, say. I know. I'm definitely a mom or a dad, but I totally get at the same time what he's saying because they are they're different, but you, you yeah. can still parent your your pets. Yeah, so it was interesting anyways. though. All right, when I turn off the lights downstairs, I run upstairs as fast as I can. I'm 34 years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty funny, actually. So the monsters don't get you. I don't feel like I do that in this house because we don't go upstairs. But I totally can relate to that, even as an old age, really? an older age. Yeah, because I um, think the only thing that was, you know, kind of spooky is when we first moved into this house, walking down the driveway to get the mail or whatever. Oh yeah, it was so dark you were and stuff. even, and that was recent. Well, four years ago. Yeah, because you're like walking through the woods, yeah. basically. Now I'm used to it; not a big deal. But have you ever, like, um, if it's dark, you even like go to your bed and you like you're afraid someone's gonna. Grab you from underneath the bed. Never. I did have a story when I was a kid. I don't know how old I was. Let's just let's just say five or six. And uh, neighbor was babysitting, and I had my brother and I had bunk beds. And I swear that this moon head came looking in the window, and I like screamed. And all these other neighbors, <laughs> these younger guys, came over with knives and looking for this person moon that head. was moon head. And everyone just said I was and there's crazy. There's probably nothing there. And I don't know. That's funny. But it used to have, before it happened, I must have been scared or something, but branches from the trees were like making a reflection on the wall. It was just, I don't know. Anyways. I call off work just so I can stay home and play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can totally relate to that. You I've pretty done, much do that. Oh, I've done that where I go down and I'll do both where I'll work and I'm play. just saying you'll have days where you're like, oh. What'd you do this afternoon? Played video games. Yeah, I can relate for sure. I have never done that myself. You'll but all right. So put it in the movie. You'll sit and watch movies. Oh yeah, I watch movies while I'm working. I used to pee in the community pool when I was in elementary school. <laughs> I think everybody's peed in a pool once. You pee in our pool all the time? No, I don't pee in the pool. <laughs> I'm just saying, as a kid, uh, yeah, yeah, for I'm sure. sure. Remember how there used to be that thing: if you pee in the pool, it's going to turn blue. Yeah, that's a lie. That's not true. Yeah. I used o to believe only it, on that. What's that movie? Uh, with Adam Sandler and Grown, Grown Ups. Up. It's in that movie. Yeah. My ex-husband cheated on me with a friend, and now they're married. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. 
There's a whole video on that for you. Right? <laughs> did I write that? <laughs> I did not write that, but um, so what's the confession? Join the club. What's the confession? I, I think that happens more frequently than you think. Man, people suck. But that does suck. Sorry about that. I've been in love with my straight best friend for five years now. I bet. Why is why is the word straight in there? Um, because they must be gay. So there's no chance that that person's going to like him or her back. So the person's. That made the comment is gay. So, oh, I so get it. So gay. she's let's say she's a girl and her best friend's a girl. She's in love with her, but oh, she's straight. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Ah, that's a that's the do toughest you, one do you yet. Tell them how you feel because it's not really going to make a difference mm. because they're. Well, I don't know. Sometimes ah, you could ruin your. <laughs> I don't make it a bit <clears throat> awkward. But to, sometimes people love a person back just because. I don't know. That's, Maybe uh, it, that, just because they're that's straight. A, Maybe it won't that's matter. That topic is out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give you but advice. But would you say something or not? <sighs> that's a, that's a tough... I don't, I don't know. I don't want to give you the wrong advice. If there's to, zero chance that they're going to love you back. Reciprocate, right? Zero chance. I guess don't say anything. Right? Yeah, I don't. I just, I, I don't have words of wisdom for that one for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm in nursing school, but I hate it. But I'm doing it just to please my family. That'll be all you. Yeah. Um. I think it's pretty common, whether it be nursing or accounting or maybe you went to school to be a teacher, where you get halfway into it and decide you don't like it anymore. Either you finish just so you can get your degree, but do something else. Yeah, I don't think I don't. You can do a lot with a degree. You don't have to well, be a traditional. Well, I guess nurse. I guess it depends where you're at in the process too, because it's it's yeah. a lot of work. It's hard work. Passing your words. My recommendation is follow your passion. So if yeah. if you're, I mean, if you got like less than a year left, finish it. Like Candy said, yes, get your degree. I regret not. And, I and wish I would have finished. But if you're just now starting it and realize you don't hate it, I say you change course and 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 follow your passion would be my advice. Yeah, so. I would agree. Whenever I'm out of something, I just switch it with my roommates. Milk, shampoo, that kind of stuff. That's mean. It's kind of Hey, funny. look, do you see this thing here? Yeah. This is in the, I have the, that piece in the barn. Oh, really? It was sitting up there forever. I'm like, what's it go to? to the yeah. tripod. That's Sorry, funny. That. I have that. I um, wondered what it went to. What was the question again? About stealing or switching out things with your roommate. I think That's, it's funny. It's, it is, it, nah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it's funny. Do they do it back to you is the real question. You, Should you confess? Is that the is that the name of the character? No, this is just Confession. we're reacting. We're not telling them what to do. <sighs> I think it's funny. <laughs> I've, I've probably done stuff like that. I'd keep doing it yeah, until keep, they notice. Yep, I agree. <laughs> I'm 21 and I've never had a boyfriend. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You could risk your life to... Well, 21 haven't had a boyfriend... The question is, is how do you feel about it? Yeah. If you're sad that you haven't had a boyfriend, then you should try to get a boyfriend. If you're <laughs> happy being not having one. How do one, you try to get a boyfriend? Um, effort. Maybe you never met anyone that you um, like. Maybe you're not trying hard enough, though. Maybe you're just not at that point in your life where it's a priority. Or, or maybe you're just not trying hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> I love peeing in the shower. I literally hold it in just for the shower. <laughs> That's funny, but I've, I pee, I've peed in the shower. You have peed or you pee? I pee. You pee in the shower. I think everybody does. Yep. But I don't hold it in. To no, pee in I the think shower. what it is is it's due to the water and it makes you want to pee, you know? Yeah. What That's a okay. topic. I wouldn't That's feel, an awkward topic. I wouldn't feel bad about that. I wouldn't hold it necessarily. <laughs> More like you're down the driveway, I gotta come home and take a shower. I'm gonna hold it specifically just so I can <laughs> the, the shower. shower. Um I delete photos of myself off my mom's Instagram every once in a while. I could see Carly. Doing Carly that. does that all the time. Well, she, she deletes them off her own, which I find so annoying. Like the whole purpose of an Instagram is to have a history. Like show the progression of your life. She, when she dyed her hair dark, she literally went on her page and Took archived all, all of the, the blonde haired photos. Why would you do that? I don't know. I like looking back. 
Because then you're like, look at what I used to look like. Now, confession, what I do on my phone, so most people keep their photos on their phone. I clear my phone out all the time and download them to my computer. I used to do that. And I take that. them off my phone. I used to, but in 2021, I started keeping them on there. Did you? Yeah, just because people post these things on Instagram while they'll... Your play first game. picture, like show your eighth this, show that. Yeah, I don't play those games. Anyways, last one. I used to have a crush on my high school teacher. You so how old are you now? I mean, yeah, I, I think used to. I think there's been times when people have had crushes on teachers. I'm sure I don't that's, think I've ever had a crush on a me teacher. neither. Most of mine were always not old, even college. Older. They seemed. Here's what's crazy: is teachers seemed old then, yeah, and they're. Seem the same age now when you see them. Yeah. Isn't that crazy when I run into teachers that are, I mean, it's been. Like they don't 30, age. Like you age, but your teachers right. didn't age. Exactly. They, they always seem, seemed old. Yeah. But now you look at teachers now, like all of our kids' teachers. And they look young. And they're all really young. Super young. And we are old. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of humor. We've been kind of struggling a little bit with vlogging lately. Uh, just stuff we've had going on. Not in the next video, but the one coming on Friday will explain a lot. You spilling the beans? Yep, a lot's coming to surface. All right, on yeah. Friday, so, so if you catch this video, you're getting the heads up on forthcoming videos for what's been going on with our family nest. So, yep. um, thanks for watching today, guys, and uh, thanks for what they put these on Instagram. Yep. Well, thank you. Playing and I, along, giving I, us something to record. Exactly. I, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Peace out. Have a good Thanks, day. Thanks, guys. Bye.